Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And um, somebody brought to my attention that this little kind of cute box, you see the six side? I did one way back that we pinched it close, but this one got a cover and it was on the Stamping Up uh, website and it was an artist uh, design that did that, Jessica Winter. And it was in centimeters, and they wanted to know how to do it with inches. So I play with that, and uh, I'm going to show you the cover. I did many of the cover, and I'm going to show what I came with that it's the closest. So first thing you're going to do is take a piece of cardstock that it's eight and a half by three and a quarter. So you just going to take a regular sheet cardstock and cut it at three and a quarter like this. Now you're going to score this at three quarter. So score this at three quarter. And now the next score, just to make sure I'm going to bring it back and we're going to score the next one. Now what we want to use, it's our gift bag punch board been a long time I didn't use that so I had to dust it off now you get the little tool right here pull that up now you're going to need a pen or a pencil or anything to have a mark you're going to start okay your um, two inch there go right at the uh, not your two inch but your uh, that was two centimeters uh, your three quarter inch go at the bottom where you did your score now what you're going to do, you're going to line up that right here at the first. It says start line. Line that right there. Punch. Now where it say your side there, that's that where you get the line there, just do a little mark there. Okay? Now you're going to take this. You're going to score that there and score that here. That's it. Now you're going to move this, that little line that you did, you're going to put that back at your start line here. Punch again. And then you're going to mark this. And then you're going to mark, not mark, but score that. You're going to put your line right here. Did I punch? Yes. Move that little dot that you did at your start line. I forgot one thing, but we're going to do it after. Punch, score, and score. And then you're going to mark again. That's your side line that you mark. Move that again at your start line, the mark that you did. Punch, do your V here, mark it again, uh, you don't have to mark it this time, the last one you're going to score, bring that at your start line, punch, okay, we should have scored the whole time, so I bring it more right there, score, oops, whoopee right on top so you have to do the whole thing on top we could have done that at the same time it seemed i forget so you can come back or do that all together make sure it's pushed all the way so now we get this see it fit perfect there and it go perfect at the top your score let's remove this we are done with this now you're going to take your scissors that I had a few pair here. Here we go. You're going to do this. Just cut that little point there. Now you're going to reinforce all this. All your score need to be reinforced. And that's the trick really when you do box or any 3D, it's really reinforce those score. That's the one we did on the board, on the paper trimmer here. Okay, now all these one here, what you're gonna do, 
fold, fold, fold. You have to be careful not to fold too much the top. Fold, fold, and fold. And I just noticed that I've, we forget one thing. Let's bring this back. It's no biggie. Okay, when you score there, you have to score in, oops. So you see, even when you forget, you can come back. You have to, oops, keep that straight, friends. You have to score right there in the center. So at every V that we did, you see that little notch there? I don't go in the notch because I don't want it on top of the box. I just go from my score line down. So that usually what you would do it's score, score, and then come here. So I forgot them, so I just came back and uh, did it. So no biggie. So I'm going to reinforce that. Make sure everything it's score very good. Okay, now if you want to do any kind of stamping, now it's the time. And so what I decide to do, I'm going to use the Hello Life. I'm going to use the So Sweet. And the reason why, it's because we're going to put some sweets in there. So I thought that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to do the So Sweet. Just to let you know, this two part, it's in the back. So really, this is going to be my center. So what I'm going to do, it's use my cherry cobbler because our top is going to be cherry cobbler. And I'm going to put So Sweet right here. And really, this is just going to show when we uh, pull the cover because till then, it's going to be with the cover. Oh, need a scrap paper here. It won't really show that one, but that's okay. I still, oh, I like that little design. And then, again over here, voila. Now, whoops, put my hand in the ink over here. Let me remove this. Now, I got the stamp set. Oh, you know what? We get two little arts there. Let's use that. I thought to use something else, but you know what? Let's use this here. 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 So it's going to be a very cute little Valentine's box. You can do them for Easter. You can do them for any occasion, really. Here we go. Now, I got another stamp set that I thought would be perfect with that. It is, I bet you can guess, it is the texture, um, timeless uh, texture. This time, this year, I should have said it's basic gray. But I want way lighter on top, so we're going to use um, Smoky Slate. And we're going to use the... This one here. And just to add a little bit of design in it. Voila. Now we're going to put that away. And then I'm going to use this swirly thing. It's just really having a good decoration on my paper. See how cute that is? Okay, now that box, it's pretty much done. What we have to do, it's decorate, uh, not decorate it, but attach it together. So now what we're going to do, it's this little flap here. You're going to put the glue where it um, stamps, so on the front. And I use Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse are uh, tear and tape would work great. 
and now usually I like to put my box you know flat but the way this is folding it's almost impossible so I just line this up there here we go really reinforce that good now this year see you can crisscross it I didn't like crisscross so what you're going to do you're going to put one down leave this one uh, like this put it down I'm going to try to have that as square as we can Here we go. Now we're going to do another side. Put this down. And then this one here, I'm going to put like a little bit more. The last one, just to make sure it's really secure. Rub that. See, it's funky, right? It's because your bag, you get that thing in the bag that, here we go. See, now you get your perfect box. It's just where you mount it in the back, you really have to push it in. And see, now you get your perfect uh, side box. I don't know how much you, I think you can see that very good. Okay, now for the cover, so that's why it's very important to reinforce all our score. Okay, for the cover, I try, oh, oh, I just smashed something I wanted to use. Doing it. Okay, maybe we're going to save it. Um, like I said, I play with the cover, and to make it that it's going to fit better and tight, you're going to use a piece of cardstock at three and three eighths. So one, two, three. So this is the one quarter, and this is the half. It's the center line there. So three and three eight by three and three eight. Now, what you're going to go score, it's at 3 and 5 eighths. So this is half, so that would be 4, and the 5 is there. So it's the one between the half and the 3 quarter. That is 5 eighths. So put that there, score all around. All four sides, you're going to score at um, 5 eighths. Okay? And I try different size to make it easier. I know many people's like, what's five eight? And so when you count by the eight, it's all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that would be the eight. So that's how. And I got a video on my blog just about the measurement. So we're gonna reinforce this. Reinforce this. Oops, make sure you stay straight. I see I was not straight there. Okay, after this is all reinforced, we're going to take our scissors and cut the flap. Well, not cut completely. You're going to cut to your score. And this is the little flap there. You just want to take a tiny V out. Anytime you do a box, it's better if you take a little piece of the flap off. It's going to fit much better. And then the other side, make sure you go in the same direction. This way. And now this. See my hand all red there? That's where I said, huh, I got make myself a good oh this was not too straight my lightning it's not good at night here we go okay now you're going to close those four flap and you're going to put the glue on the flaps so again you can use the tear and tape or you can use the fast fuse And yes, I'm very generous on the fast fuse because I don't want this puppy to come apart. That little boogers there. 
Here we go. I mean the glue thing. Here we go. Let me make sure. Here we go. Okay, now what you're going to do is close this right at the edge. So if you don't take that little V, sometime you're going to have it pass there. So when you take the little V off, you can make a straight edge. Here we go. Okay, now reinforce this very, very good. Oh, and I wanted to do some stamping. I should have done that before that I um, don't. Yeah, before that you um, you do you put your box together, you want to do your stamping. I'm going to try to be brave here. And... Huh, perfect. So really you want to do that before you put your box together because this is kind of uh, tricky here to do. But I'm going to get it. Here we go. Now I wanted this here. Just say a little decoration on top. Now, I use the embellishment, those um, little honeycomb. That's what I just squish with my uh, board there. Okay, let's see. Well, it's a little thing to peel in the back of this. Right now, it's a little bit stubborn. Here we go. I thought, I don't know how this is going to look because I didn't do it yet. I thought that would look like a little um, knobs, you know. And, oh yes. See, that's where I crunch it a bit. Oh. There we go. How cute that's going to be. Okay, now you're ready to put it on your box. Et voila. How cute is it now I did one more thing I don't know where it is here is I thought we can use this little art if you want and put it right there it would be more Valentine's it's whatever you prefer if I do that I would put you know what I would put dimensional just in the bottom of this and put that right here and even when you put your box together, it's going to slide right there. So you can have the heart or no art, whatever you prefer. But see, the cover fit very good. Now I brought some candy here. I got some of those. And you could put even some red paper in the bottom. And to be honest, it fit even better your box after you fill it up. It's make it even stronger. Voila, my friend, how simple this was. So, oh, uh, that I think it was Kim that was like, I want to do it for uh, Valentine's. I said, I don't know if I'm going to have time. So I hope that um, that covered the expectation, but I think I got it good. So again, that was from uh, Jessica Winter. It was centimeters. It's on stamping a blog and... Um, I did it with the inch. So, voila, my friend. Thank you so much. And for all your stamping of product, just visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. And you can uh, order everything right there. Thank you so much and have a great day, my friends.